The TGIF Report is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to the TGIF Report. I'm Mike Moliterno. It is officially 4th of July weekend. And just a quick heads up, we here at the Business Journal will be off until Wednesday the 5th, but we'll still be posting a few updates, so be sure to check back. Now, before you check out for a few days, let's jump into the July issue. On the cover of the issue, Dan O'Brien brings us this overview of the manufacturing industry in Trumbull County. According to the Warren Office of Ohio Means Jobs, there are 558 manufacturing jobs posted within a 20 mile radius of the city. One of the manufacturers going strong in the county is Uniserve in Brookfield, which slits metal coil into narrow strips for shipment to end users. So if it's heavier gauge, uh, stainless, carbon, titanium, aluminum once in a blue moon. We have a very robust profile that keeps us able to adapt. One of the focuses of the July issue is Trumbull County and on page 26 George Nelson looks at the efforts of the Trumbull Neighborhood Partnership to combat the food desert in Warren. Through the Healthy Community Stores program the organization is stocking a dozen convenience stores with healthy fruits and vegetables. On page 28 George Nelson gets an update on Howland's comprehensive plan which will likely include an overlay district at the inner intersection of 46 and 82, creating a more pedestrian and bicycle friendly area north of 82. In our local food section, we see how a new aquaponics farm in Sharon is growing six varieties of lettuce and other items to sell at local farmers markets. For those of you with a sweet tooth, you'll want to check out Emily McCarthy's story on the local honey industry from its production to the end uses, such as in the Eye of Odin Mead made at Woodland Cellars in Hubbard. Approaching the winter season, we really kick up production on the uh, spiced mead. Uh, cinnamon, elderflower, vanilla bean, you know, those flavors, everybody just goes right towards them for winter. We also have stories on the multiple kitchen incubators in the region, and on page 40, we bring you the story of Red Basket Farm, which converted the old Kinsman Town Hall building into a market and cafe that has become a food destination. We have people coming from the lake, we have people coming from the Youngstown area. I do think it's somewhere that people come and they like kind of come for a ride and they kind of just kind of come to hang out for the day. You can find all this great content and more in the July issue of the Business Journal out now. And that is all for this week's TGIF report. Have a happy, safe weekend. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. 717 Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. 717 Credit Union, make your money work as hard as you do. Check out our business money market and CD rates at 717cu.com slash rates.